All right, here we go with the conversation party today dealing with loyalty. Understand loyalty, we have to do a little anthropology of words, making sure that we understand where they originated from. Some people call that deep, but it's actually what is necessary. There's nothing deep about finding out where the word came from and what it really means. It's something we all need to do, especially those of us that speak English. It will help us in a whole lot of ways. This is a conversation party with life coach LeVon, and we're going to break down loyalty. The word loyalty or loyal was derived from a Latin word that was the meaning of law, L-A-W. They spelled it L-E-G. That's where we get the word legal from. But what we need to know is that when you're talking about loyalty, you're talking about whatever law that you have inside of me, that I would have inside of me, you would have inside of you, basically is how we was raised to believe what is loyalty. But actually what it is, is something that you're putting over someone that you are asking to be loyal to you. Whether you know it or not, you are asking for them to obey the law that you have inside of you. Whatever that is, you know, it could be that you can't do this or you can't do that. And that's what explains your loyalty. But most of the time, people don't find out another person's loyalty until it's broken or what their law is until it's broken. And then they call them disloyal. The truth of the matter is we need to talk about this. We need to find out beforehand, especially entering into any type of relationship, any type of organizational thing, uh, church, whatever. The funniest thing that happens to me or, or around me as a life coach, I'll be seeing and hearing the different types of problems with loyalty and the person never puts themselves in the examination room when they're doing it when they're thinking about it but like for instance I left a church okay I left the church I didn't leave God and I had a lot of friends there but when I saw them it was like they felt awkward and strange and couldn't wasn't able to talk to me but I was able to understand why it was like that and the reason why it was like that is because of the issues dealing with loyalty or the lack of understanding about it. And anytime you have a loyalty that ends up making you have something against somebody that that has never done anything for you to have something against them, then that loyalty is misguided. And that is the topic of the day, you know, misguided loyalty. But first you have to understand what it is. Of course, we know now it's a law that you are placing above somebody even though they may not know it, you need to search for yourself, find out what that loyalty is inside of you, make the necessary adjustments, and try to move on. There's people right now that are friends of mine that, you know, I can see with different things that, you know, they we were in business together. Um, I'm just giving examples. We were in business together and then switched uh, business. And now because they are with these other business people, they 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 having a struggle with still being my friend. So my question is, were we friends prior to this? I think so. I know I was and I still am. But the whole the, the whole deal is the struggle is with the misguided loyalty. And same with denominations, with with with, uh, with racism. You basically have this thing against somebody because you feel like you're supposed to be loyal to your race. You know, God made all of us. So I'm not going to hate somebody or dislike them or feel like I can't be around them because of what misguided loyalty was taught to me. And it really is something that we all need to deal with because... The truth of the matter is, at the end of the day, the law that's in the loyalty, it has no love in it because there is no love in the law. 
there's no grace in law law is it takes okay this is what is gone now this is the punishment there's no grace in that so because I left this organization I left this church I left and uh, moved on the only only time loyalty has a, uh, a sound set where you might have to